Hey everyone, it's Eddie Sanchez and I'm back with more information for you young creatives out there. Today I'm talking about characters, what makes them interesting, and I'm even going to tell you about one of the books that inspired me to become a writer. If you're into that kind of stuff, stay tuned. Let's get into it. So today I want to get into characters. You you know if you, if you're starting out and you're a new writer, if you want to make an interesting story, if you want to write an interesting story, make sure. Sorry, I shook up oh. my camera here. Um, you want to make sure that your character that there's changes in your character. There there isn't such thing as a character that stays the same. If you want to grab people's attention and keep a hold of them, right? Um, I'm going to reference a book that I read when I was younger, uh, Catcher in the Rye, Holden Caulfield, I believe. Anyway, there wasn't a lot of change, right? It wasn't like, oh my God, he drastically changed. But what I like about the character, so, you know, we saw things from his point of view, from what I remember, and he's an unreliable narrator. I forget what the term is, but you really you're going based on what he's telling you you know how he sees things and again can you really trust a 17 year old you know i believe he was 17 but he was becoming a man he you know he's 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 skeptical like you know the way he saw things uh i think he had an incident with a teacher it was an interesting story and there was change it was subtle as far as the way he changed or maybe somebody can correct me in the comments but Holden Caulfield was an interesting character, you know, because he just, again, he saw things a certain way. And, and that's what I like about when I wrote um, the movie Teddy, the one that I just shot. Um, I felt like my character, there was change, right? And that's my point of today's um, uh, video is that in order for your characters or your stories to be interesting there has to be change and that's just basics 101 when you're writing a story you want to show that your character has changed somehow some way he cannot stay the same his experience um his inciting incident has to change him you know he has to become who he's going to become like obviously holden caulfield um from catching the rye i believe i'm not messing up his name but he, he, you know, he was becoming an adult, right? He was going from young, from youth to becoming older. He experienced all these things. Again, from his point of view. And that's exactly what I was trying to do when I wrote Teddy is everything is just, you know, from, basically from his point of view, the way he sees things, right? And we have to think that the way he sees his mother, the way he sees the world around him, is somewhat true but we don't know that again because you know i'm not gonna get too much into into my movie but um when you have an unreliable narrator you don't really know um if what they're saying is true or what they're seeing is true um because it's it's from their point of view right they might see things a certain way like a serial killer might see himself as a good guy so you know things like that again you you really have to um make the characters that you're writing very interesting um again don't make them boring they has to be changed they have to go from uh from a certain way they're being uh after the inciting incident they have to change they can't stay the same again holden caulfield and catcher in the rye it has changed was subtle again maybe somebody can correct me in the comments but I don't think it was like, oh my God, he changed so much. Um, I think there was a subtle change, um, you know, in his character. But it's all about, that movie was all about like, you know, him growing up and, and becoming an adult and just uh, becoming older, you know, his uh, his sister, Phoebe, his relationship. It was a very interesting book. Um, it was so long, like, I, I forget certain things about it, but it was interesting. So that's a good book to read if you want to get into uh, good characters. I think he's a very good character. Uh, people might disagree with me. Drop a comment, you know, down below. 
But again, my advice is make your characters interesting and that people want to read about them. They want they want to follow them, okay, on their adventure, on their journey. Um, and that's that's the, that's how you write a good story. You start with a good character. All right. If you guys have any comments, drop them down below. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Sorry about the shaky video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.